weeks there. Bob Franken, live in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Well, the whiff of scandal, Iraq, Hurricane Katrina, discord over Supreme Court nominee Harriet Myers, it all could be contributing to the low approval rating for President Bush. An NBC Wall Street Journal poll shows that 39% of Americans approve of the way the president is doing his job. There's also this startling number. Just 2% of African Americans approve of President Bush's performance. The president has a distinct walk, some call it a Texas swagger, but have the problems of the last couple months taken some of the confidence out of his stride? During a live interview on NBC's Today Show this week, the president blinked 37 times while giving a response to one question. He appeared to fidget and pivot. The first lady, on the other hand, seemed to be statue still. Is the president trying to tell us something? Patty Ann Wood is an author and an expert in body language, and she's here with me in Atlanta this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got to challenge you on the whole body language thing, All first right. off, because one person's fidget is just as I fidget in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> um, perhaps that's just how people are. I mean, do, do we not, as a body language expert, do you not bring your own bias to what you're seeing? Actually, what we, we, when we interpret body language as experts, get a baseline, and I teach interviews and interrogation techniques. Just like a polygraph test needs a baseline, a body language re reader needs a baseline. So when we're looking at Bush's body language, we're noticing a change from the way he usually is. Okay, I see what you're saying here. So let's look at some uh, recent tape. And again, this was from earlier this week. Okay. Um, he was asked about Hurricane Katrina, and we're looking for blinks? Yes, okay. blinks. Right. It's blank. like a polygraph test for arousal. The okay, break. let's listen in. Do we have that tape? All right. <laughs> we don't, let me ask this right now. Do we have any of the tapes? Here we go. Okay. All right. This is a. This is um. Actually, he's being asked during the debates about um, the war in Iraq and what he's going to do in this particular tape, I believe. Right. And what you want to look at here is before he answers the question, there's a long pause, longer than normal. So longer than normal pause is an indication that he's trying to make up an answer. He also looks away a lot. That his head goes down. And the other thing I want you to notice is a slight turning up on the one corner, his right corner of his Some mouth. Some people call that a smirk. A smirk, yeah, talking out of the side of your mouth. And body language is a highly symbolic language. When you're, when you're trying to show one thing and you're really feeling another, it makes part of your face respond because of the way the hemispheres of the brain work as okay, we speak. Okay, we're a little at the mercy of whatever tape we have here. Roll a tape and we'll figure it out. <laughs> as, um, the next. Oh, so this is a gesture that okay. has almost become, like if you watch Saturday yes. Night Live, anytime he's imitated. Yeah, and, and that is a choppy motion. Sometimes for, for, for Bush, he's coached to do that. Here he's talking about a candidate that was kind of controversial. So the choppy motion, he was very aggressive. She's great. She's wonderful. So aggressively attacking the interviewer in this case. An another kind of Bush standard is how when he usually stands, his arms are a little bit out away from his yes. body when he walks. And um, that is to, uh, symbolically making him look bigger, making sure he's, his guns in the holster can be quickly fired at any moment. So he does that in this particular thing mm -hmm. in the Matt Lauer interview. You can see how he's holding them, and, it, and it's almost defensive because they're so stiff. But it's interesting that Matt Lauer is, is uncharacteristically attacking. He's actually pushing against the president, pushing him for an honest answer to his questions which I think is making Bush do a little bit more of the rapid blinking. Normal blink rate when you're talking is about 20 beats per minute. His, as you mentioned, got, went beyond 30, really unusual. So could that be something as simple as I'm not comfortable with the person yeah, I'm talking be, to, not that absolutely. I'm a lying, it can, whatever? It can be nervousness. What you look for to detect deception is the timing of that cue. What was he ask where he did the rapid blinking and does he show it anywhere else? If he doesn't show it anywhere else, that's deception. Then he's uncomfortable on that particular with that topic. particular question. And that's the critical piece there. Very good. Do we have the video of uh, President Bush uh, slapping people on the back? And um, I hope we have that. Yeah, he was. Um, ha this was also part of the uh, of the same NBC interview where he was going around the Habitat for. There it is. Right. Now you right. hear from people who meet the president in person. They say this is a totally different interaction. That one on one, he's very comfortable, mm -hmm. very personable. And a very likable guy. He gets nervous when he gets on the air, which can happen to a lot of people. We would hope that by this time he would show a little bit more leadership and be a little bit calmer on the air. Um, and here he is slapping people on the back. I wish he had a little bit more eye contact here to be a little bit more present with people. But again, you can, you can, your, your eye blink rate can go up when you're on the air. It's just by now we want him to be a little bit more sure of himself when we're going such, through such trying times. I think that's why people are aware of it. Right. That. So, Patty Ann, let me ask you this. In, in these politically charged times, because there's people who feel very strongly about the president both ways, either that he's being attacked 
or that they think he's a caricature. You hear both. What does looking at body language, how does that advance the conversation? Well, it, I think why we're, we are looking at it because we can't trust the words anymore. And in truth, body language is a much more accurate detector of what's truly going on. You, give, you would trust someone's body language more than what they have to say. Absolutely. You can give out 10,000 cues in each minute. You can't consciously control all of that. So obviously it's going to be a more honest indicator of what you really feel. Is this something that somebody can be coached on? Absolutely. Yeah. Both in the giving and in the reading of them. Very good. And clearly you've been doing a lot of reading. <laughs> Patty Ann Wood, thank you for your expertise today. Thank, thank you, you for stopping for by. We're going to meet with a couple of really cool kids coming up. They are hurricane kids. They are helping other hurricane kids. What helped one elementary school class, what helped them cope, is now helping the youngest victims of Katrina and Rita. And we're going to talk with some of the young authors of When the Hurricane Blew. These darling ladies joining me live just ahead.